All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to War Game Red Dragon. We are still trying to uh, defend Israel. I know it says South Korea, but we're still trying to defend Israel. And I kind of put off doing this battle in the last video because I am, I, I'm a little bit afraid. It, this is a big one. Obviously, um, you know, we have to get here before turn ten. It is turn three. Uh, what we could do is we could clear up the enemy right here and then try and push right away for river jordan or we have to defeat them fall back hold the line against this unit and then push all the way across again with a large chance of reinforcements hitting mount moran in the meantime as you can see right here the enemies did actually retreat from most of these areas uh what we're probably gonna have to do though is we're gonna have to try and get everyone to fall back into Beit Shan and hope to everything that we can hold the line there obviously if we lose this we lose the game uh we're gonna just jump right into this battle uh, i'm very much expecting there's a giant mountain right here so what we're gonna do we're gonna put a couple of vehicles kind of covering this back road perhaps even some aa units that kind of cover from an anti or from a helicopter attack and then we're gonna just base up a large sort of defense on this ridge and it's gonna be it's going to be very interesting to see how they're going to come at us. They have double our points. They have a ton of support and tank vehicles, as you can see. Some heavier, a lot of them are lighter. Uh, but just the fact that they do have 68 T-62s, 48 T-72s, and then 24 even more expensive T-72s, um, it's going to be rough considering our best tanks are the, uh, <laughs> the Merkavas. We get 12. We get 12. Then again, it's the it's a little bit more expensive. I mean, our tanks are 65 points, but, you know, they get 383, uh, of which probably about 100 are, are really not worth mentioning. It's these uh, Desants and these T-34s. So there's still about 250 that uh, are going to cause issues. Now, there's also lots, lots of shitty T-62s here. So even then, you could still say there's over 200 pretty deem, damn, deem, what's deem, damn decent vehicles coming our way with a ton of planes and helicopters. Now, in the last battle, we saw what happened, or in the last video, we saw what happened when I wasn't prepared for the enemy just spamming helicopters. So today, we're actually going to get up some A. I'm going to set up my defenses. We'll come right back to you. All right, so I uh, set up an interesting sort of defense here on this ridge. It's basically all I can do. Uh, there isn't any cover out here whatsoever. So I've got a fob, and then these uh, vehicles are all backed up by quite a few of tow missiles with some Merkavas and some Tran Blazers up front for recon. Then down here, if a recon's going to be put into the forest, I'm actually going to take out one of these fobs. We have uh, one fob over here, just a sort of a secondary main sort of base fob. We have two Shenavs set up as an anti-air blanket, and we're sending six of our PT-76s and a recon tank up here. I just forgot I do want to have uh, some light uh, anti-air, so we'll put uh, a Dracon there and there. And that gives us 10 points left to go. I think we're going to have to make this one work, so here we go. Alright, we're going to set up our uh, light vehicles over here. Their job will not be to really take anyone down, but if they can uh, spot them coming in for us, that'll be great. Uh, let's also get a recon helicopter to help out over here, as I guess we can start sending a Yeats in a group of three. That way we can pretty much take out down anything I can think of. Um, and we're going to try and find out where uh, their heavier anti-air is. Okay, we do have some... Oh, that guy's got taken down. We sp spotted uh, two cubs, so they should be going down. Let's actually get all of them out of here. Okay, that's good. Oh, we took down two of them. Uh, we're taking some return fire. There's some more uh, Schlilkas up here, uh, but none of our planes got hit, and we did take down two of their heavy uh, guided anti-air stuff. Now, helicopter spotted, which does mean I wouldn't mind getting some Schlilkas myself. Um, uh, pray about that. So we kind of have this mountain still covered. We actually did destroy uh, one of their helicopters. I'm trying to see what it was. It might have just been a recon helicopter. I s no, that's not the explosion. I'm trying to look for the explosion on the map, but I can't. I can't find it right away. So 
we're playing as close. I really don't want to go aggressive. I'm getting a lot of points per minute or, or per like per tick, which is awesome. So we're gonna just try and keep our um, our supplies rolling in. Try and keep sort of a, a base of points so we can quickly respond to something if needed. What would be cool is if we could have a recon vehicles try and move up and perhaps spot uh, some things for us. If it does that, that if he doesn't see anything, or if he gets killed, uh, we might not try and take this back route. But it will be very interesting to see if we are capable of taking this back route um, into uh, the Iron Abel or Abel uh, sector. We have some AT gems pushing up. They are amphibious, I believe, but their T6s obviously aren't. Uh, the Siphon, put it over here. So this is more going to be a probing game. I really don't want to be the aggressive one. I mean, they have literally double the points. Um, I am, however, I guess the aggressor in this battle, if you were to get uh, into specifics. But do we have any... Okay, we do have some decent... I guess that's good. We barely use any of these infantry. So we can actually get um, uh, some Bardellas to move up here. And we can cover them with Bazaks. And then we just need another long range. We got, uh, I guess this is not the worst long range. So we can get some of those. And then, oh, oh that's bad. Okay, so we took down a Rina helicopter. But we spotted some uh, concourse right here. Let's actually get the IE to fly up there before we set the nets up. Let's get the IE. Let's just evac him. If there's nothing there, we explain spotted. But there's something in the forest right there. Another IE out, perhaps. Bazes are engaging, they're both down, that's fantastic. So we took down two of their planes, spotted another Shlika. Oh, nice one, okay. Spotted another pair of Shlikas over there, so whenever the next Ayit comes available, uh, we'll definitely go and hit that. However, these T-62s should now be a relatively good target for us to hit uh, without too much trouble. What we're going to do though, we're going to send all these infantry across the river into Carmiel. We're going to have them hold up in the city and hopefully um, hopefully they can uh, they can hold the line. So we have Marines and we have, I believe, wait, these are the Marines and these are the Airborne. No, it's the other way around. Sorry, these are the Airborne and these are the Marines because these guys are shock and uh, these guys are going to come in a 50 mat squad. So big difference there. It's like, it's just our weapon. We got more planes coming in. Oh, but they're stunned. Missile out, and there is no way they're getting their uh, their missiles off. So that's fantastic. Oh, <laughs> really? It landed on top of one of my dracons, uh, actually killing the dracon in question. I've, that's interesting. I haven't seen that very often. Uh, let's get some more armor over here, and uh, Ayit is ready. So we'll send it over there, and hopefully we can take out the enemy uh, anti-air that was just here. Uh, hanging around. There it is. Zlika 1 and Zlika. Let's actually hold off and try and get another attack run. I always feel like if you do two attack runs, they always seem to hit on the second time as well. Uh, whether if you have them fire twice at the same time, the accuracy is only 50%, so it's literally just like hit or miss. And that was a big miss. But it's only a single one, so we could actually probably have a Nets hit it, which is kind of worth it. Uh, it's kind of not, maybe not worth sending the Ayit after that. Although now I'm kind of afraid I might lose his nets. Let's see what happens. It should be okay. Emphasis on should. Four points, five points. Okay, that's more than fair. It's going to take some time to repair, but we did take out the Jalika, uh, getting us some more space. And now we can send up the uh, APCs that we got here because we're pushing them into the next town. So we'll actually get a uh, helicopter. Uh, oh, never mind, it's not a helicopter CV. It's uh, actually, I keep thinking that Bartolas is a helicopter. I don't know why, don't ask me, I, I don't know. Um, 48 versus 24. It'd be nice to get some helicopters just to supply my troops with some uh, faster transportation. Let's get the Ayit. I think they're kind of afraid of what I have over here. I think they can see this and they're not very willing to push straight into our units. So. We're going to have to bring the fight to them, which I'm I'm not opposed to at all. So we're going to send our Ayit over and take out that Jalika. We're going to send another Ayit over to take this down. And if there's nothing left, it'd be perfect. Let's mark this for later. Be perfect to hit this. Uh, oh, we didn't take... Oh, there's another two over there. Are you serious? There's a lot of units over there. There's another three. Get the hell out of there. Oh, perfect, though. He took... They took down a lot of them right there. So we can actually probably hit them down. Um... Some people, I actually watched my uh, watched some comments on my video yesterday, um, which was 
Okay, guys. So, oh, that's 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 bad. That's bad. That's really bad. That's really bad. That's really bad. Oh, he's so dead. He is so dead. Oh no. Oh, I never do that. I never I never just target units. I always press T. And then this one time where I don't target units, or I don't press T. Oh man, whatever. We're gonna have to use a, a yeet for that. A lot of AA over here still. Um. I read some people really liked my sort of sports commentator-esque uh, commentary on the Steel Division 2 video, so uh, I guess we can try and maybe keep that going a little bit if it's uh, if it's fitting. So there is still an Ayit needed to sort of take out this middle. Uh, it'd be great to have a missile fired and then move right. Our Nets will take care of the web of the tanks. We'll set up all our infantry in here. Now we just need uh, two Yasuors with their... Um, power to oh this could be bad oh this is bad oh oh no no i only have three eights i can't afford to lose even one okay thank god that was a lot closer or a lot further away than i thought <clears throat> all right stop them here so we're getting two of those uh helicopter supplies uh mainly because i want to be able to supply uh my infantry with new ammo and men uh, as they're fighting off here because their idea would be that they would set up uh with their actually we can just dismount them right here it's probably a better idea everyone should be dismounted but move them all into this forest and these are the mark 19s and the gavuni are the ones with the dragon missiles okay Ayit, if we can hit this with the Ayits and know what's there um, and take out any of their AA and we can have our Nets go in, missile out, perfect, elite. However, I'm not trusting that there's no infrared AA, like there's going to be some missile AA, I'm pretty sure, and uh, I don't want to mess with that shit. So let's hit this and hit that and hit this again and our infantry is now clear to push into the city there we go oh there is definitely some yep there is definitely some uh, infrared aa there's two missiles coming out luckily though none of that really did any damage we took down a lot of points right there oh we fought at their fob that's awesome okay let's get the cv in here uh, move the Messiat up one, move the Bazak up one, move the Hapak up one. Get the Anafa to uh, drop the units over there as we keep the helicopter recon up. And we're finally going to get some targets. Uh, Mark 19, this could actually kind of be a bad thing if we don't get the Gavuni on targets here fast. Let's another uh, Yeet uh, up there. Actually, let's send two up just in case. And then we'll have them turn around when they get to that corner. Uh, they captured a zone, that's fair. Deploy the infantry. Get them to land over here and resupply. Alright, so far these Ayits are not really encountering anything up here in forms of uh, radar AA. Obviously, the, the risk is that you're taking that you're going to be coming up against uh, infrared AA, especially in these city centers. I feel like the AI really likes to put um, radar AA in these areas. So let's actually not fly over them too much. They take down two of them, one Ayit took down two, which the other Ayit should have fully loaded. I'm not sure what the T-62s are doing, they're just kind of stunned and staring at us and they don't really know what to do. Uh, and that's perfect for us, however, as we are now also deploying our Tsunamim, which are the paratroopers. And we'll actually keep these Anafas here in case we do need to get my guys out of the city. It's not going to be very easy because there'll be uh, there'll be more a lot more infantry and helicopters, but you know it'll be something. It'll be it'll be worth trying to get them out of the area if needed. So actually, let's put the helicopters back here uh, just for right now, as we have a ton of points. Let's get another recon helicopter back here. We'll keep the uh, sewer over here for right now. Uh, hit this with a nets and a yeet. I guess we can try and fly them over the mountain. That's such a big risk to take, though. We have a lot of points. Um, Let's get some Tsevas. Let's get four of them. Alright, ooh, there's a Jlika right there. Missile away. Missed and missile away. Hit. Nice. Perfect. Two shots, one hit. That's more than enough. Um, we could actually send my Zananim. I keep I keep pronouncing these guys' names different. I hope that <laughs> I hope that no one's gonna be like really triggered by that, because I feel like I'm mispronoun I'm pronouncing them different every single time I'm pronouncing their name, but 
Also, war game is awesome. I don't know if it's just me, but I love the whole um, like resupply aspect of, of war game and like having helicopters fly back to the fob and get resupplied and then fly back. I don't know. It just looks so cool. I don't know if that's just me, but our Zanani are gonna push across the lands here. Uh, we're gonna have these Zev Zevas to sort of back them up. As there doesn't appear to be much stopping us from capturing this, capturing, capturing this zone, which would be perfect, because uh, it will stop them from having a uh, call-in point, and we'll get ourselves a call-in point. It really seems like uh, the enemy is kind of not really sure what to do, considering we have uh, a lot of firepower uh, both in the air and on the ground. They have a lot more on the ground than we do, but. It almost looks like they're not really aware of that. Let's have the Baz hit this MI2 because it's starting to piss me off. Uh, let's have the Nets maybe try and hit this. Let's see what happens if we try and do that. Okay, he'll fly back around and hit that. That was a miss. Next one. Oh, is there any? Oh, there is definitely some AA still left in the city. Nope, there goes another Nets. That's such a shame. I'm such an idiot. All right, well. Let's get this Nets to fly south instead of north. Oh, wow. No, oh, that's not good. Okay, so we just spotted more AA coming our way. Um, oh, there's our actually not radar. They're just uh, infrared. These Osas are actually really, really good at uh, dealing with... Oh, our infantry is engaging. Inf Osas are actually really, really good. I totally forgot about the fact that they could have infrared AA. Right now we're dealing with uh, regular infantry yards. The airborne should be able to perfectly deal with those guys themselves. Uh, we'll actually have the Zevas stand by. Stand by. I don't know. That was like a weird uh, stroke thing. We're going to keep them there just for now because we need to push up and take out these Osas. Once the Osas are down, we can actually move in, capture the FOB, have our helicopters deal with anything in this city. Uh, the Osas are going to be the main thing that we have to deal with first because they will just destroy our helicopters before they can do anything. I think their range is a lot more than uh, helicopters ranges. So let's get the Baz out of here. We got a lot of uh, stuff actually approaching this village. Let's get two Zevas. Back them up. Uh, let's get the Yasur to fly back in here as they are uh, definitely dealing with this large sort of giant column coming this way. We're going to need uh, Anafa. We're going to need some Zananim. Uh, let's get another pair of two to come in here. Nets is actually... Oh, we can actually call units in from right here. That's awesome. I didn't realize that so we caught another capture zone. Uh, we captured the fob up here. The CV here has moved. Our Tsevas can now... This is kind of a risky thing to do, but let's send our Tsevas in on this corner and have them engage together with these ones. As our Yasur has to be resupplied, so let's get the Yasur back. We captured a FOB. Uh, FOB is good. Let's actually keep the fuel on as to be safe. Move the helicopters around. Infantry around. Um, FOB is being engaged by enemies that are mad that we captured this area. CV is moving around. We spotted it. Enemy rocket artillery. Ow, wow, 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 wow. That hurts. That hurts. Oh, they just got taken down by one single hit. And the helicopter, definitely sort of a bad place to be flying in here right now. We have more nets is available, I do believe, which is awesome. Uh, we have a Shlika spotted. A Yeet hit this, or nets hit this. Uh, we took down the CV, I think. Uh, it save us. You have to. Uh, oh, here comes the Netses. Ayit is engaging one and missile away, and that's a kill on the uh, enemy Biryusha. Or um, oh, I need to unlock these guys. Not Biryusha. Slika. Get the Anafas to get the hell out of here. All right, Zanani. We need some actually like good infantry up front. Some infantry that can. Uh, really stand their ground and with 40 men and a lot of RPGs I feel like the Zanani are probably a good candidate for this sort of battle right here. We did lose a lot of men, uh, it wasn't maybe the best idea to do what I did there but it, I think it relatively worked out for us there. Let's try and capture some of these, uh, oh there goes another supply vehicle, we'll capture that. Uh, and let's try and take out these MI2 recon helicopters. More Osa coming down the road. If we take the MI2 down, we can then push up. Actually, we can just get infantry right now. We can get some Givati to push into the city with us, and there'll be 60-man infantry squads, which is fantastic. The Yasur has to be resupplied here in just a second as we, again, switch our Yasur up 
One there, one there. Helicopters are dealing a lot of uh, damage to the enemy vehicles approaching. Gunships are now approaching as well. We need some AA. We need some Dracons to push up into the city and uh, basically come and help out the... Um... Ooh, Bazak hitting targets with the red eye. It's really not a great anti-air system, but it's the best we have right now. Zananim are dealing with a lot of infantry at the same time. I believe we haven't captured. We should actually get a Merkava tank to push up from here. Our uh, squad of Bartolaz is approaching, however. The sewer is coming in. We own 80% of the destruction points. This uh, truck just got blown up. Let's switch out these infantry because they need a little bit of cover. They are in, in a little bit of trouble with these MI8s showing up. In general, I believe we've actually done a pretty decent job here of trying to keep uh, what is ours under our control. Nope, did not mean to do that. Save us. A yeet, fall back. Okay, we're good, we're good. Zananim, need to fall back some more. The Bartolas are now showing up with the uh, 60 Marines. It's only a very small contingent of our full squad of Marines, or full unit of Marines that does have the ability to show up. Our Zavas are being fired upon by anti-air. Pull them back, pull them back. They just missed again. Another round coming in. That one does another miss. I don't know how they just missed three times in a row with two missiles. Our Yasur is already out of ammo or out of supplies. We need to get him in there ASAP. We got uh, Tsananim on the front being engaged. We need to take out these MIA gunships before they take us down completely. Those are going to start really annoying me. They're actually hitting us hard. I just threw one of my Dracons. Dracons took them down. Uh, our, our infantry and helicopters took them down, but we did lose a few of them. Uh, we are still actually expecting reinforcements, it looks like, from here. Uh, enemies are driving right up behind us. I don't know what this Vic is, but it's it's a supply truck. Just hit this with an RPG, please. Don't let that fall into enemy hands. I don't care what we do with it. I don't need it. Uh, okay, we are... Oh, we need to fall back. These guys, they went from 40 to 11, but they're still very much... Uh, Alive, oh, we're gonna maybe lose this Dracon right here, which is kind of annoying. Uh, we captured the right side of the map. Infantry is just fo sort of falling down here in numbers. Our uh, Givati have now actually shown up though and are actually able to uh, provide support. These T62s are in such a bad place, they just got annihilated. We have helicopters that are totally out of ammo. Our Yasur here is being resupplied as we are still trying to deal with uh, a few of their units here in the city. They only have 139 points left, so if we take out all these BMPs and the enemy infantry right here, we should be actually really good. They just deployed infantry outside of these vehicles. I believe we can get a Kurnas, which I totally forgot about. These things are fantastic. If the Kurnas hits this infantry anywhere, they are going to be toast. Let's actually have these guys get out of here uh, before they get smacked. Kurnas, missiles away. Look at that. We just destroyed those guys in the open. The Kurnas with the uh, electro-optical missiles doing a great amount of work. Now, we did 4,000 points worth of damage. Um, the main points we lost were three Netses, which is brutal. Absolutely, really, 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 really stupid. Um, and then mainly infantry that we lost, uh, obviously, fighting um, in that city. And I guess we lost one of the supply trucks that we captured. Um, other than that, pretty decent. The sucks that we lost those three Nets. That was really, really stupid. Thank God they retreated. Now... They are going to be pushing into Nakora and then Namaria next turn, and they're going to be pushing right back into our sector. The question is, if we're going to be able to hold Mount Maron and Namaria at the same time, because I don't think so. Look at this, 857 units. A lot of infantry, of which 42 is elite. They have shock infantry out of the bottle, 100, 100 support weapons, and quite a few tanks. The tanks we can deal with uh, using our planes and helicopters, but then we gotta look at their uh, vehicles and they have uh, 42 ATGMs. They have a lot more on the little Jeeps. Um, support wise, they have 12 anti-air radar guided missiles. They have 12 anti-air Zlikas, they have eight OSA, a radar, anti-air, and they have 12 regular. So we can't really use our planes or helicopters until we take those out. So it's kind of like a, a, a rough call to make. Let's end a turn. There's not much we can do. Very much expecting them. Yep. Okay, so one is on the push to Namaria. We need to really fall back from those sectors um, down south. Now they 
The total value of forces here is a lot lower than it initially was. So I don't know. Okay, so a few of these actually decided to not join the battle, but then some of them did join the battle. So sort of half stayed out, half... Actually, this giant one must have stayed out because these ones have a lot of infantry. So if we look at the... Um, Oh, but because they left the map completely, we are in control of every single sector besides Tu Pyongyang. I know that's not Tu Pyongyang. It's supposed to be uh, Two River Jordan. <laughs> oh, man. Um, the the point is here. We're going to have to. We have. We're good. We have. You know, one basically one on one um, strength. Uh, their helicopters are a lot lower now. They lost all of those gunships, or at least they're not bringing them back into the battle. Uh, actually, there's a... Oh, no, I think we just took them out. I don't see many other unit too. So we did a good job. I I'm actually really happy with this. It's going to come down to the fact of what are they going to be attacking. I don't think we can hold Echo. We can try and hold Sokcho with a ton of AT gems and AA in this force, and by holding it, like, right here... And then we're going to hold the city, the city here, and this sort of back line again. It's going to be a rough one. We're going to set up our defenses, and uh, we'll be right back with it. All right, so we're set up our defenses, and I'm going to be playing this a little bit, well, not a little bit, very defensively. Totally abandoning Tuna Maria. Uh, it's a colon area, I'm aware. It's also zero points and really hard to hold. You got this road coming up the, the lane here. You got these multiple entryways that are basically able to like allow units to drive straight onto the plateau. You got this back area and you got almost no anti-air like, ability until the guys are right on top of you. And then you got to hope that you can take them down. The same for helicopters and, and planes. So I've done the same basically with Echo. And I just realized I really don't feel like holding uh, River Jordan. It's zero points as well. So we're going to hold these two, which are the four and the two point sectors. They're both call-in points. Um, and actually, I think it's a lot better idea for me to sort of focus my uh, my my strength on these sector instead of like really spreading out for really no reason. So let's get the siphon up here. Let's get a siphon up there. And we're going to have to deploy everything uh, in bullet time so I can get everything sorted. And then we should be good. It's taking a while to go in bullet time. The main thing here is I want to get both these infantry units that are in there uh, to deploy inside this building. That's a lot of stuff coming our way. I was trying to grab these Gavuni. I should add that um, out of the eight Gavuni that I had available to me, uh, Six of them, however, did not make it, which is really, really, really annoying because they're actually sort of integral to this part of the idea uh, of the defense. Now, I think all of our uh, Bardellas units can be pulled back. We can move back to normal. We can have Ayeats flying over, and uh, we're going to have to try and take down uh, whatever comes our way. This time I was prepared for a lot more helicopters, and I think that was good because I do see a couple on the horizon right there. One Ayit away, that didn't even result in anything. Let's get the hell out of here. That's very, very scary. Uh, they have another Ayit available, we do get you out of here actually because you're just gonna die. And then get another Ayit out of here to just try and take on these radar AA. There's actually a lot of non-radar AA in here, which is the main issue. And that we're gonna have to be dealing with because they will just gack us down if we don't uh, at least take out their radar, which is good. We just took down a couple of their radar AAs. There's a lot of stuff coming our way. We're gonna have to hold our ground. Uh, Dracons are immediately engaged by multiple tanks. That's really annoying. Uh, can we take down at least one of these helicopters, please? No, nope, we're not gonna be able to take them down. At least our Shanavs are doing a good job. They're driving straight into our lines. There is going to be a big fight on our hands here. I can feel it. It's, this is going to be really brutal. We did take down another one of the helicopters over there. We're trying to take down the helicopters back here. Our Hobbit is engaging and is doing damage. We're not actually taking them down. Uh, maybe we need to get the sh Shakak or Shahak just to do damage to these MI-24s before they get behind our lines and spot whatever we got going on back here. Let's get a Hobbit to deploy. ASAP. Shahak, please do your job. Take out these MI-24s before they drop their troops. Come on, come on. Hobbit should be spawning around this road right here. Hold, hold, and engage. Come 
Wow, what a hero. That is really lucky. Alright, so our infantry is under heavy assault here in the city, obviously, as you can see. We need to uh, just start bombing them with nets, and not our infantry, I mean the enemy. Uh, enemy. Oh, that's bad. That's, that sucks. That's going to get shot down. Yep, there was no chance in hell that was going to survive. Uh, Yeats need to hit these uh, radar. AA. Hey, hey. Oh, there's so much stuff dying. Nets, get out of here. Uh, Yeats, please take them down. One down, two down. Nice, sweet. Okay. Well, our Gavati are basically out of ammo here. These Gavati just got destroyed. Uh, they have been destroying. I just realized they've been destroying my AA like it's nobody's business. That's actually really, really r rude of them uh, to do that. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. All right, we're barely allowed. The artillery is hitting hard. There's smoke artillery coming out on my city here. Let's deploy these guys further back as we uh, need to resupply them. Our Hobbit better be taking this down, for love of God. Okay, we saved our CV. Need to move our CV though. Uh, let's have these guys set up on the corners. This was actually nothing at all like I thought was going to happen. This has been just destructive as as anything really. This was horrible. Um, had some Merkava turn off the weaponry. We ma made this to be relatively secure now I think. At least with AA. So much artillery coming in still. Ow, ow, ow. Trying to hit the uh, the area where we're spawning, and I can't resupply my Gavati if they keep hitting the Gavati with artillery. Okay, we're safe just for a second. It looks like Kornas, great unit to have right now to hit anything we got. There we go. I forgot I can actually target multiple things. That's what we're gonna start doing with our Kornas. We're gonna start and target and try and target uh, multiple uh, weapons or multiple vehicles at the same run. It's probably the only thing we can really do here. Um, some Shayatit will be good. We need 140 points so we can get uh, four of them to uh, sit here in the city center uh, and try and hold the line. We're going to need in, uh, helicopters or infantry. Oh my god, I can't even speak anymore. We need to move our CV again. Our Yeet perfect, taken down their anti-air. Another one spotted. That's not going down, however. A Yeet coming in. It'd be great if we can get our nets or our Kurnas. Another Kurnas for this uh, target area right here. See where their missiles are coming from. Uh, their artillery, I mean, sorry. Alright, our... Uh, Shaitet is approaching. Missile. I believe it was somewhere over here. Let's get you out of there. That's bad. We should be good though, I think. Barely. Kurnas, come on, give us those points. No, I didn't aim correctly. Alright. Well, we're not doing great. Um, that was a lot more brutal than I thought it was going to be. Uh, recon helicopter on the left flank. Green helicopter up top. And we are Gavati. They're going to need uh, one, two, and three. So we can get the full up to full strength, basically. The full back up to 40. Shaitet, disembark ASAP. Gavati should be able to deal with the majority of uh, the stuff coming our way. It's another recon helicopter to try and recon up front. They did capture Echo. Where's his artillery coming from? I just saw him fire. Where? Where? Oh, another wave coming in. There it is. Spotted. They're gonna try and hit my Hobbit, I think. They are trying to. Bastards. Nets getting hit hard. Oh man. Did we get any points? This. Oh, we got so many points with that strike. That's perfect. Our Shaitet are a uh, good range to have the most amazing missiles here uh, available to them, which is fantastic. We have to hit this giant cluster of uh, enemy, uh, enemy vehicles, however, though. My lord. Kurnas going out with the missiles. 
Come on! Oh, it's took a couple of them down. The main point there, I guess, is that we, uh, if anything, stunned them really bad. Another missile away, taking down AA, left front center, which is very important uh, for later on in the campaign. These shark tits are armed with the, basically, I think they're SMAs, right? They're B300s, I think they're SMAs. Uh, so they will do a, a great job against uh, most of their tanks. Be good to keep, we can take down this MI8 recon. I don't think we can spot anything though. Plane, missile away, missile away. Another one down, one survived. That's fair. Shytet are alive. Lots of tanks now approaching. Uh, let's get these Gavati and these ones to uh, sync up and these ones to sync up. And uh, I mean, 58 isn't 60. Uh, it's going to have to do though. We're going to have to get these guys to go back. And Discovati push it back into the city. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, it's not perfect, but it's gonna have to hold. Helicopters. Let's get some toes. And we spotted artillery firing again. Not sure where that came from exactly. Two Netzes. Because the Nets are actually pretty perfect at dealing with um, these columns like that, so this could be a really, really good hit. Although, at this point, any sort of damage I do, any stun damage is actually more than perfect. I think it was right there. Yeah, it is. The toes are engaging. Alright, Kurnas, turn around and hit uh, stuff with the missiles. Shakak, hit those. D a lot of damage back there. Shakak not getting the, the kill, but doing the damage. Kurnas, hit one missile, please. Hit the other one, and both missiles away. Two different targets, I think. Oh, no, they crossed each other in mid-air. That was awesome. I think they missed, but that was still really cool looking. Are these toes actually engaging them from the ground? I've never seen that before. I think they were firing missiles from the ground. That's crazy. Gavati are holding strong in the city. We got 180 of them. Good luck getting through that. Uh, our Ayits are mostly veteran or elite or hardened. Um, this is actually going pretty well. Now, it wasn't initially, obviously, but, uh... Get two hobbits up here. Take, it'd be perfect to take down these MI8s, because they're gonna piss me off and spot me. Hobbits are moving up to try and find... Oh, these Ayits are in a bad place. Get them out of there. Looks like there's no AA, though, so you can maybe even, uh, strike those MI24s. Never mind. They got them, we got them down to zero points. The total victory, we did lose 750 points. I think we lost... Just one Nets, uh, a lot of... Um, okay, we lost two Regan helicopters, we lost the Nets. It's not the best, um, but the point is that we did so much more damage to them, and they're actually, uh, again, retreating. It would be good for us to now avoid these battles down here. There isn't a way for us to fight them anymore. I mean, all these units and battle groups are so hammered. Yeah, I know, they're in... Uh, in, at risk of running us over here. We need to really get the hell out of here and hopefully the AI doesn't push us. Oh, they didn't. So we can resupply every single unit here. Oh, this is the heavens. This is it. This is the the break we needed down south was to uh, um, force them out, force them back. Well, have them come back in. But this way we can at least refit every single unit that needs refitting. And some of them really did need refitting. Uh, we can re refit them and get them back up to full strength, which is absolutely perfect. So I believe everyone has been refitted. We, uh, oh, never mind. Not everyone has been refitted. There we go. Out of that are Kefir, even though it's just a napalm bomber. Um, now the question is, if we attack Nazareth, what do they really have here? Just MI-24s. The best thing would be if we attack this... Uh, what we'll do actually, we'll just call in save us, the two saves that we have left, and they could, well, 
the 12.7s won't do much as much against them as my, my 23 mil or my 20 mil. So we should actually take on this battle of Nazareth if they even want to have it. Uh, let's launch the battle. Okay, they're taking it. So we're going to just deploy our helicopters. I should have maybe gotten a plane to fly over, but we should be okay. Uh, Merkava Pikut, uh, helicopter one, two. And we'll get some tow helicopters in case they have anyone landed uh, on the ground. And um, we don't have, oh, we actually have AA. We can just roll around with a couple of bad boys like that. Let's do it. Okay. This is going to be really funny. Oh, wow. Yep. Wow, man. I mean, yeah, we're losing our hobbits, but... I'm just trying to run down... Oh, it's the one place you shouldn't be going, buddy. Take him down! Don't let me kill my CV! Oh, we got him! Come back here, bastard! <laughs> oh my god. Come back here! We're gonna get him, but it's not their only CV, but it's one of the two that they have here. Or one of the two on the map right now, so we'll take this one down. Perfect! That's great, actually. So now it doesn't really matter what they got here. Uh, we can just deal with it. Um, get a patrol jeep over there, over there. Oh, nah, that's gonna suck. I'm gonna read a helicopter, but... And then uh, we are in a very good place here. Um, kind of sucks. I should not have even called these Lahatu Toes in. I thought I was going to maybe use them in one way or another, but I guess I wasn't. It's fair, though. Uh, let's actually move the CV helicopter up here just for now so it doesn't get shot. And uh, these Savas should be taken off before they get destroyed. Hobbit's in range. And... Uh, eh. Should piss them off enough. No, oh, I guess they actually took that one down. It's fine though. There we go. We're taking on these MR24s like it's nobody's business. The 20 mils are so much better than their 12.7s at just doing destructive damage. Like, what is the HE power on this? It's one with two AP power. Uh, they have no AP power and a little bit of HE power, so. I mean, they're just getting destroyed as we speak. We just have to deal with another CV helicopter and a little bit of infantry right here, so we'll deal with that in just a second. We'll get another Hobbit, which is just a really awesome unit to set up here as we now uh, move in to deal. Oh, they have another we're gonna, our CV helicopter just landed. That's great. We'll take that down. There you go. Easy points. There isn't much they can do. If uh, we take out this unit, uh, hopefully, I don't think we can really retreat our guys anymore to the main sector. We'll have to do that, but um, it was worth me either finishing these guys off uh, or fighting them here and then hopefully winning, which is obviously what we're uh, definitely doing, as you can see. There's not, not much they can do here anymore. I don't think I have a ring helicopter left anymore, but it's about a two MI-24s. Deal with those guys in just a bit. It would be great if we could capture this middle sector for points. Because uh, obviously that's plus four and we're only getting two right now. So it would be good. Our Vulcans are almost out of ammo again. We're looking for the CV here. I think that must be one of the last ones. I actually got one in Tiberius. But it's just a helicopter CV. So it's got to be landed somewhere in an open field. Uh, where we can just easily take it out. Uh, we got some M24s. And that's uh, one already messed up. One's almost dead. This helicopter is actually worth 45 points. That's actually a lot. 
And they're both down. Let's get them back to base, because I do need to be resupplied. Helicopter spotted and didn't get shot down. Uh, it'd be nice if we can capture this, CV-wise. Though I don't think we're going to be fighting here uh, another time. Both are really out of ammo, so we'll get them back. Okay, push them forward. Save us are going to just land over here. So you can resupply them again. I mean, they've done a great job. Even though I had just two left, uh, the two that were left did such an amazing job. I mean, I think they're both elite. Kind of sucks. Would have been nice to have more, but, you know, can't do uh, everything. Let's go very fast here for a second as we're just uh, kind of trying to get some extra points. Uh, ooh, some of these lighter BTRs would probably be really nice for this. All right, our helicopters should be charged and ready to go. We'll have to just go for a rob. I'm going to take down one more CV and that's it. Oh, there's one right here. AI is actually doing a very smart thing of just flanking all the way around. I'm assuming I'm going to try and land in this sector, which uh, preferably wouldn't have them let it have it. There we go. I was actually going to zoom in, but, you know, the helicopter got taken down so fast. Surprised that it didn't get absolutely annihilated. There's one, one Regan helicopter left, two uh, infantry, and, and that's it. There's nothing left. Uh, but we can't... Can we fall back? No. So these guys are sort of left over here. I mean, oh, those Merkavas are a big deal. Would love to have those back in uh, Beichan. All right, maybe if they do attack us, um, we can look into that for now. I hope you guys enjoyed. We're going to be uh, back with another episode soon. For now, we've got to say awesome. Cheers.